Hi. So, my name is Laura. Or Knight or Danny. I go by any of those names. I'm starting this channel to raise some awareness about more of our LGBTQ issues. Well, LGBTQIA plus issues. Sorry about that. Um, I personally am gay and I also identify as gender queer. And I guess to start this off, uh, lately I have one building here on Michigan Tech's campus that I go to and actually live in this building. And so I'll be sitting in the basement doing my homework. That's actually what I'm working on now. And you know, just because there's no one down here and I am genderqueer. I just decide to randomly use the men's room, which no problem there. There's barely anyone down here. But I always get nervous opening up that door, making sure I don't walk in anyone who might be on their way to wash their hands or on their way to the stalls. <laughs> It makes me nervous because obviously my body still looks like I'm female. And um anyway, that fear was kind of faced tonight when I walked into that same restroom I've been using while I'm down in this basement, and one of the stalls was occupied. At that point, I had to pee anyway, so I'm like, I'm not going to walk across the whole building to go find the women's restroom. I'm going to just go for it. And I was really nervous doing so because I didn't know if he was going to just sit in there for minutes at a time like some people would. You know them they just sit in there because they feel awkward with other people being in there with them and they don't want people to see who's in the bathrooms with them so i just kind of sat there hunched over you know because walking by stalls sometimes you glance in and just walking past and I didn't want him to realize that someone with a female body is in a men's room right now and I know Michigan Tech's campus is one of the more inclusive ones I feel safe here I feel safe being out on this campus I'm actually a member of the Kiwana Pride LGBTQI plus group here on campus I feel comfortable being myself and unfortunately on the spectrum of gender queer a lot of people don't realize that these things exist that these people can feel actually feel uncomfortable being who they are and living the way they want to live that doesn't just mean the pronoun game either but there's there's that whole thing I mean, I myself go by they, them, theirs. Uh, for email purposes, I also put she, her, hers because I'm afraid to completely come out. And it's hard because people don't use the correct pronouns a lot of the times. I mean, I do go by both, but a lot of people don't ask you and no one asks. and. You know, it's kind of frustrating, but I don't see myself going up and being, oh, what are your pronouns that you want me to use? I'm only going to do that if I'm in a personal conversation with someone. I'd be like, what would you like me to refer to you as? I'll do that. It's just, I, 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 I mean, even in general, I tend to use, I 
tend to be gender inclusive while I'm working. I did it back when I worked in Minnesota. I tend to just be like this individual needs this. They have this question. I don't, I try not to generalize people based off of their looks because you never know. And that's just that. People need to be more aware. And I hope that by continuing to use this channel and sharing more of my personal story and maybe getting some guests in here, I can help raise some sort of awareness. Thank you for watching.